photo. Boy, an entire gallery of cats owners' photos. <laughs> they have an audio tour with. Oh, do do poo poo. Oh, oh, now you've lost any chance you might have ever had. <laughs> Hey, the pinky duck wagon is coming. Uh, Jen, your, your food's here. You're saved. Uh, I don't think I'm really hungry anymore. Twenty minutes ago, we were ready to throw you a telethon. Now you're not hungry? Hey, yeah, it's Jeff Lee. Uh, listen, pal, the Steven Seagal fan club is down the hall. I'm getting... Southern California. I guess you are here for some Windows 95 interface therapy. No, no, I don't think my HMO covers that. Hey, listen to the man. He's got a Zen spin on Windows 95. <laughs> Look at our menu. Column A always compliments column B. Protein on the right, carbs on the left. Elements stay the same. But the combinations of choices are indeed infinite. Creativity is challenged. Wow! Well, it's kind of like an, an interactive fortune cookie, wouldn't you say? Yes, I would. The tools are same for everyone, but no two people view the world exactly the same through the Windows 95 system. You ever try any right-clicking? Well, there was some peer pressure back when I was a freshman. Most right-handed people use the left mouse key as their primary tool. Since right-handed people rule the world with the left side of their brain, we are trapped inside their rigid rules. But Microsoft Windows 95 allows for the influence of the right brain and the lefty in all of us. Right-clicking is the end result of all that. In other words, do you want to get funky? It's a little early for funky. And you uh, happen to be terrifying me to my very soul. Windows 95 uses the right mouse button for what Microsoft calls power user features. Check this out. Right click on the desktop, then properties. Let's change the screen resolution on the fly. That is so cool. Mess around with it. Go to the taskbar and right click it. Okay, right click it. All right. So I'll just, uh, I'll just, uh, I'll tile horizontally here. Or maybe I'll undo tile. You know, whatever I want. It's kind of my show here. Huh? Now, we go into my computer and open any file. All right. Okay, I got something Bill calls the Nova from a black hole. We'll just probably just throw that away. Just get uh -huh. that. Now, drag the file out of the window onto the desktop using the right mouse button. Then create a shortcut. Oh, no. No, there are no shortcuts. There are no shortcuts in this world. There's a very, very long, long road. Not in Windows. Let me show you Windows Explorer briefly. All right, now I hear this replaces the file manager. Well, I hope you found him a new position in the company. I mean, that guy's got a family. You know? Consider Windows Explorer the file manager on steroids. Let's go to it through the start button. Wow. So now the left side shows the drives and folders. Now, just drag and drop any file to any folder or drive you want. It's a great way to manage your files. Okay, now if memory serves, you couldn't do this in the old windows without opening a bunch of file manager windows. That is correct, Grasshopper. Let me give you one more tip. Take any shortcut and drag it to the start button. Okay, well, I'll grab the shortcut to Nova from a black hole. Here we go. Now show me the start menu. Survey says the shortcut is now on the top of the start menu. We are rocking the desktop. You did not just say rocking the desktop. Yes, you did. You said rockin' with a little apostrophe on the end. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> you, you... <sighs> Go to the taskbar and right-click any program. Okay, got it. Now we can close just like that and... Look, it, it moves. Hmm. Now let's really get crazy. 
Go into the control panel off the hard drive in my computer. Let's check out desktop themes. What is this? Actually, it's not part of Windows 95. There are some really cool displays that come with a companion program from Windows 95 called Microsoft Plus. Now dial up American 60s and hit display. Oh, psychedelic. People, we have an announcement. Stay away from the brown floppies. <laughs> with Windows 95, you can pretty much impose your will on your people. I feel so empowered. It's Joystick Johnny. Joystick Johnny. The town buckaroo. Where's Gates? Bill's not here, Johnny. We don't want no trouble. Joystick, joystick Johnny? Johnny? What is a uh, Joystick Johnny? The most feared video game warrior in the territory. He's probably heard that the new multimedia support in Windows 95 makes games fast and cool. And of course, Windows 95 is compatible with DOS games like Flight Simulator. That's yesterday's news to Johnny. Somebody better step up and volunteer. We start fitting everyone here for one-man bungalows. How about that stranger over there? He looks like he's hiding something. <laughs> okay, first of all, I'm Matthew, so that takes care of the stranger thing. And second of all, I'm not hiding anything. As a matter of fact, I'm working on expose right now to blow the lid off the sitcom business. Yeah, well, nobody's leaving until somebody's mad enough to play a little 3D pinball with old Joystick Johnny. Okay, Junior. You're on. A uh, girl. Hardy har har. <laughs> oh, no. See, that's a coward's laugh. Nobody calls Joystick Johnny a coward, ma'am. Lee, bring up 3D pinball. <laughs> So, uh, what's uh, 3D Pinball? You mean you've never played that? No. No. Oh, wait a minute. No. Nobody has. It's a new game in Microsoft Plus. So, uh, so the kid was bluffing? Well, let's hope so. That's just one there is. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 Target achieved. Isn't that what the kids say? You're on my list, Missy. <laughs> It's Puff the Magic Dragon. <laughs> Yo, Matt, how you doing, brother?